We are starting off whitetail deer season here in 2023. We're in camp with the guys from Rival TV. Here in Kentucky, today is actually opening day of the uh, Kentucky Archery. This is a velvet hunt. We're really excited. We're gonna kick the season off this afternoon. So I wanted to take a minute to kind of do a pack dump and show you how we're gonna pack to hunt the style of hunt that we're doing here in Kentucky this weekend. So first of all, uh, I always take a bino harness and, uh, and it's got a rangefinder uh, pouch attached. I always, that's kind of part of it, threw that in there. It's not exactly part of my pack, but it's, it's just the best way to go for me and I hate hunting without optics. So that's something I'm always gonna have. Uh, but you know, kind of to the, the, the main thing with a pack dump, this is the new Cruiser Escape Pack. It's the first ever pack in uh, Scree Camo and they just came out with it and we got our new packs in right before this hunt. So show you how I pack this up. So first of all, we're hunting velvet, early season, feeding pattern deer, edge of uh, soybean fields, feeding pattern type hunts. And we're gonna be hunting in a set stand situation. We're not having to climb, hang a stand. We're going into uh, a kind of established setups for uh, for this time of the year. So uh, I'll have, I will can go in a little bit lighter. I don't need my platform and all my saddle stuff. So. Um, we'll kind of start here in the front. A couple things, the way this pack works is this front pouch will actually come off and be a, a real accessible pouch right in front of you if you're in a saddle or, or however you're set up in the tree. So it's gonna be kind of where my primary accessories are. Uh, starting off, I've got some, this is not actually my pull-up rope. I always bring some extra paracord for anything I might need. My release, always make sure that's with you. Uh, I got an extra utility hook for the tree, and I got an extra carabiner. These are things that are just kind of in that front pouch for me to, to have, uh, readily accessible. And then, next thing that I'm gonna need as soon as I get in the stand, I'm gonna need my tether uh, for my safety harness. I'm gonna need a screw in to hang my bow. I'm gonna need my, uh, my pull-up rope. I'm gonna need to access that quickly to get my bow set up so I can pull it up to the stand. And the other thing that I have in here is a wind checker, a powdered wind checker. Very important when you're hunting any kind of whitetail setup. So moving on from that, here are my side pouches. I'm gonna have a lot of water. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be probably 90 degrees. It is the 1st of September. In the other side pouch here, I have a couple of small portable uh, sent away products. This is just a small, uh, smaller spray on, and this is actually a roll on. And uh, what I like to do in this situation, it's gonna be hot and I'm gonna sweat. So I'm gonna try to get in as easily and sweat free and as I can, but I'm always gonna have some products where I can try to dry off, cool off, and then reapply scent away because you know, you're constantly producing odor and it's hard to manage in this situation because of uh, just the heat and humidity. So into the main part of my pouch. So with that in mind, what I just said, what you're gonna see in my pack here that's a little bit different then what I would normally do is my safety harness because I'm, I'm gonna wear as little as possible getting in because I wanna stay as cool as I can and manage the heat. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna pack this in in my pack. I'm gonna put it on at the tree. The next thing kind of follows right suit is a long sleeve 150. You see I'm wearing the short sleeve 150. I'm gonna walk in with this and I'm probably gonna be hot and sweaty. So I'm gonna have another 150 lightweight in here that I can put on once I cool off and I stop sweating and uh, try to do as best as I can for odor control. I got a thermocell. There's gonna be, there's gonna be mosquitoes this time of the year. I've got, a, uh, I've got some, some wet wipes and I've got a hand towel. Again, this is all to try to dry myself off, get the sweat off, and try to get odor under control as best as I can. In here also, I'm gonna have a portable hand saw. I'm gonna have, in here, I have some pruning shears just in case I need to clean something up in the tree. Lightweight gloves, lightweight gator that I'll use for a face mask. Again, another carabiner with a knife. I use carabiners, you never know. When you're in a tree stand, carabiners are your best friend. Always have a couple extras. And I got some face paint in here. If you've watched my videos before, I've got my gator that I can pull up with a face mask. I'm probably not gonna wear it. I have a beard. I don't like covering my face up, especially when it's hot outside, so I'll probably put some, some face paint on to knock the glare off my face. And that's really about it. For an early season hunt, I don't need much. And again, I'm going into a set stand. The ladder stand's hung there. I don't need a lot of climbing stuff. I don't need a lot of extra stuff. Um, 
my cameraman's actually gonna have to haul in most of that stuff because he's got to get set up in the tree. So for me, my pack is really set up to where I can get in and I got a lot of stuff in here to kind of dry off, get the sweat off of me and try to get odor under control because that's really the main thing this time of the year is can you get a deer close in bow range with the sweat and the heat and the thermals and all that kind of stuff. But that's it, wish us luck. You're gonna see some content from this hunt on our YouTube and around Scream Media as well from the Rival TV guys. Check them out, Rival TV. And again, we're here in Kentucky hunting velvet bucks and we're gonna go get in the stand here in a couple of hours and see what we can get done.